Hey everyone, and welcome to today's session. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Ashley Jimenez, team leader of the Invicta team from La Rosa Realty Internacional. In today's session, we'll cover an overview of how to create your profile and customize your website in KV Core. So welcome to the first lesson of many, where we will run through an overview and really learn the ultimate guide of KV Core. These lessons will be short and straight to the point, which is of course perfect for real estate professionals seeking to accelerate their business to the next level quickly and efficiently in their busy schedule. As always, all of our KB Core lessons can be found on our channel, The Invicta Team on YouTube, where we constantly strive to support agents such as yourself, leverage KB Core. We'd love to hear from you. So please comment any questions you may have on the comments below or any future lessons you would like to see. Now let's get started. So the lesson plan for today is the KB Core overview that we're going to learn is how KB Core truly is a lead generation machine and how you can leverage KB Core as a CRM, a customer relationship management. I'm sure you heard from many of your brokerages, whether it's La Rosa Realty or EXP, et cetera, that having a CRM to really leverage your business in real estate is crucial to growing. So we'll learn how you can leverage KB Core using that. For setting up your profile, we'll learn about setup and recommendations on what works and may not work when you're setting up your profile. And your personal website, we're going to learn about the front end, meaning what customers or clients see, and the back end, meaning what you as a real estate agent, agent sees for yourself and how you can use that information to create more leads and more clients in the long run. And most importantly, the customization, ensuring that you really have a website that is alluring and is attractive to the clients and also yourself is really crucial, again, for your business. So in a nutshell, if I could describe KB Core in two words, it would be these two. Having a real estate website, KB Core of 100% gives you that information and allows you to have that for your clients. And the other word I would use to describe KV Core is CRM, Customer Relationship Manager. Now that is tied in with the fact that it's a lead generation machine and the fact that it also maintains your clients. So as we all know, lead generation is super important for our business. And likewise, it's really important to maintain those clients, have 100% customer satisfaction and ensuring that our clients are happy in the long run. So we'll be learning um, in lessons to come how you can really use KB Core as a CRM to ensure that your clients are constantly nurtured and are never left alone. So we're going to learn about your profile. The way this class is going to be set up is I'm going to be teaching you about a slide, whether it's your profile and the website, and then I'm going to open up my KB Core and show you how to do it yourself. So I highly recommend if you have KB Core while you're watching this video, have it open and really just follow along so you can also make these changes as I'm explaining. Again, any questions whatsoever, leave them on the comment section below and my team and I will get to it as soon as possible. So your profile. Um, the first thing would be your headshot. This would be a business headshot, of course, and just having something that is very welcoming, a smile. And as you all know, this is a super important thing because this is the first impression our clients have on us. So very important to have this perhaps getting a professional photography and just really getting this headshot done. The next thing would be your MLS and NRDS info. Your MLS info is exactly what you use to getting into your multiple listing um, service when you try and look for properties, as you know, as a real estate agent. And if you are a new agent, your NRDS can be found on your license. So if you have any questions on that, you can ask your brokerage as well to help you find that. But why this is important to put in your profile is KV Core works alongside MLS. Essentially, what KV Core is when you explain your clients is our clients are generally looking at Realtor.com, Zillow, etc., Google, and they don't have access to the MLS. Why? Because only agents do. So what KV Core does is it uses your MLS and it uses that information and gives clients an opportunity to look at what you're looking at, but from the front end, of course. They won't see other information that us as realtors see, but they're given an opportunity to look at that. And that's something you can offer your clients saying, if you look at my website, my personal website, you'll be able to have access to my MLS. 
And the only way this will work is if at the beginning, which is why this is the first step, is you set up your profile with these two informations, MLS, so that the KV Core can know which MLS to attach to, whether it's Stellar, whether it's Miami, et cetera. And the NRDS info, of course, is to just verify that you are indeed a real estate agent. Contact information. This is very self-explanatory, of course. When we're setting up, your profile is alongside your website. And the contact information is your phone, your email. Again, super important so clients can reach out to you. Uh, agents can reach out to you if they're interested in your listing as well. So that's something that we will see how we can set that up. Social media links. Super, super important to have this set up in there. And I highly recommend that you put your social media business profiles. So if you have Instagram personal and a business Instagram, I highly suggest you put your business one. Again, these links will be for your clients. So we want to drive all of our all of our clients into our business profiles, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube. So it's really a bunch of things that you have on your plate that you can use. And whatever social media you end up going for, highly recommend you create a business profile. So the about me section. This is something that is completely up to you, what, how you want to run it. So whether you want to put a long one and talking about all your experiences in real estate, everything you specialize in, your background, it really all depends. Just keep in mind, and I will show you in a bit, that this about me section will show up on your website. And so um, my recommendation is that you keep it short and sweet so that clients can actually read through it and keep on going along your website. Again, we don't wanna bombard our clients with all this information. Super important why the social media links are important because if you do wanna indeed showcase all your background, all your real estate knowledge and experience, that's perfect for LinkedIn. So if you have LinkedIn in your social media link, you can drive clients to go check out your LinkedIn profile and there they'll find all your experiences, all your education that you've had, how long you've been working in this industry and that will be perfect for LinkedIn. And your email signature, super, super important. The section right here is every time you send out an email in future lessons, we're gonna learn about campaigns. We're gonna learn how to send out mass emails, mass text. And again, this is step one. And step one is setting up your email signature so that when we get to that point and we're sending out emails to our clients to nurture them and everything like that, we need a signature to identify ourselves. So what we're gonna have is our name, we're gonna have our, perhaps our social media links, most importantly, our contact information, we want our phone number, we want our email in there. I'll show you guys mine right now. And so this is super important. So profile is step one. If you are starting out as KV Core today, having no idea what to do, your step one is to set up your profile. Step two is your website, which we'll attack later on in this video. But now let's get started on how we can actually start editing our profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my KB Core. So when you open up your KB Core, if you uh, do not have a username, again, contact your brokerage and they can help you. But when you open it up, you'll see many different things here. At first, it may seem overwhelming, but let's just focus in on step one. So step one is our profile. So if we look over here, it says Ashley. For you, whatever your name may be, you'll find it here on this section. And you're gonna see many options. And the first one we're gonna click on is my profile. So now that we're here, we're gonna see um, our headshot and everything like that. I'm gonna give you guys a run through on that part. But to edit it, you're gonna make sure that you click edit. And you're gonna see save and cancel. Whatever edits you make, ensure that you click save. If you don't, all that hard work will be for nothing. And so you're gonna put your name, you're gonna put your title. If you're a team leader, you can put team leader. If you're a real estate agent, you can put real estate agent. Your headshot will be here. You just download it from your desktop and you put it in there. You have your MLS ID, your NRDS ID will go in here. So that's where you put that and then you click save. Now, before you do that, we're gonna continue, right? We said contact information. Here's where you would put it, your cell phone. And here, see how I put show on site? Ensure you have that clicked out. So that your clients can easily give you a call if they want uh, more information on a property. Your email, also very important. So you can put your business email if you have that as well. If you have a work phone, you can also put that here. If you have an office phone, you can put that and show on site. I like to work directly with my mobile. So that's why I put that there. The from name, Ashley Jimenez, our website, don't worry about putting that in. KB Core will automatically create a website name for you. Basically, what it's going to be is your first and last name, 
dot your brokerage. So since I'm from La Rosa Realty, my name is Ashley Jimenez. As you can see, my website is ashleyjimenez.larosarealty.com. And that is your personal website. So here is the social media links that we spoke about before. How you're gonna get those links, open up your profile on Facebook, on Twitter, if you have one on LinkedIn and just copy that URL and place that URL right here in, this, in these links right here. So we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, your license number, you can put that here again. You can put your position. If you are bilingual, such as myself, you can put English and Spanish, super important to let our clients know if we're bilingual or trilingual, really helps them out if they're looking for that type of agent. And here is where is the about me. As you can see, there's really no limit as to how far and how long you can put your about me. So that's where I, I said that it's really all up to you. If you wanna keep it short and sweet, as I recommend, you can keep it short and sweet and just saying, what are your attributes that you bring into the business? How do you run your business? What's your work ethic? And what do you specialize in? Do you specialize as a buyer's agent, as a seller's agent? Perhaps you can put the area that you specialize in, whether it's Orlando, New York, California. It's really, really all up to you. And you can just play with this. I'll show you why I decided to do short and sweet in a little bit when we open up the website, but let's continue with the profile. And lastly, the signature that we talked about. So you can put something along the lines of something that really stands out your name, which is what I did for personal branding, Ashley Jimenez. If you like to keep it more um, professional, you can take that out and really just write out your name. But whatever signature you end up going for, just make sure you really come up with a signature at the bare minimum. Use something that says your name and your contact information. Because again, when we get to the advanced lessons where we're talking about mass emails, campaigns, and really learning how to nurture and do that CRM that we spoke about at the beginning, this is step one, which is our signature. Because if not, we'll be sending out all these emails and our clients will be like, who is this email from? So that's why it's super important because what if they really like something you sent them and they don't know who to contact? So very important to have this set up. And again, your KV Core is gonna be sending out these emails. So you're gonna see that uh, conversion is gonna be sending it out. We'll get to that in a little bit, but it's super important to have the email signature. So please make sure you do this step. And then just make sure you click this include signature on all outgoing email. Again, when we do the mass emails, this is super important to have that set up. Uh, you can put your education if you'd like. Um, the, just note that these items like will not be displayed on your website. So if it's, it's something that you want to do to give KB Core a little bit more background information on you, you can do that. But it's really just for you and KB Core. It's not for your clients. All right. So this is the setting up your profile. And let's see. So we have that there. And when you have all of that set up, your name, your MLS ID, et cetera, you're just going to click save. And you have done step one successfully. You have completed your profile. So now let's go back to the presentation to talk about the second part of this lesson. All right, so now that you have successfully set up your profile, now let's talk about the website, which is the most interesting part, I would say from KV Core, and really is amazing to do lead generation. So before we get to how to set it up and um, really just customize it, let's learn a little bit about why it's so important and how you can really leverage it to increase your business. So first, let's talk about the front end. So when I say front end, I'm talking about what clients see. Because again, these websites that KB Core generates for you, it has a front end and a back end. It has the front end from what the clients see, and the back end is what we as agents and our personal website can really see and how we can really take that information to do some lead generation. So on the front end, some basics about the KB4 website is that it gives you access to the, to the agent's MLS provider, which is what I already explained, right? So something that we gotta, that we have to explain to our clients is that, look, um, you can go on realtors.com, you can go on Zillow, on Google, but how about using this tool that I'm providing to you where you really get access to my MLS provider for free? So that's something you can really use to um, ensure and kind of just allow your agent to really use the KB Core website. Another thing that clients can do once they're inside the website is they can create their own market report. So once they're on the website, if they like um, a certain property, they can click market report and they can see something on Kissimmee, on Orlando, 
on Windermere and they can learn about the market report and it's very self-explanatory so they can see a little bit of how the market is. So Kiwi Core is giving them education and giving them information that later they can come back to you and say, hey, I'd like to know more about this market report. Again, flyer generator. So KB Core, as a client, if you're looking at something, you want to create a flyer, perhaps you want to see it printed out. There are some clients who prefer to see things printed out rather than everything being online. KB Core allows you to do that from their personal website. Request a showing. So directly, once they go inside and they see a home, they love it. They can put save the home and they can even create um, and click on request a showing. So once they request a showing, you as a realtor will get a notification and you will be told, hey, X client would like a showing and you can have that already set up and call the listing agent and really just start that way. But it's a way that clients can directly talk to you and just say, I wanna show it. Email alerts, another thing clients can really set up for themselves. So let's just say a client starts liking homes in Kissimmee and they're interested in buying homes in Kissimmee. They can go into the website and say, hey, I want some email alerts. And they tell the system, I wanna see homes in these zip codes. I want to see homes, uh, three beds or more that give the, the system like the criteria and us like as realtors, we don't do anything. KB Core takes care of that and automatically KB Core starts sending them those email alerts. Now, what do we get with that? We get their email for one. And we also get um, like them generating like lead generation just from automatically from our website that we didn't have to do. And we'll get that information. We can start doing our personal touches calling the client, et cetera. But this really just gets started. And sharing on social media for uh, the millennials or the, the, um, the millennials in this era who really love social media and are really getting into real estate as we're seeing in this market, we can see how once they get inside KB Core website and they like something, they can share it to their Facebook, they can share it to their Instagram to show their friends, oh, check out this real estate, perhaps they're real estate investors who wanna try and invest in Airbnb properties. So automatically, KB Core gives them that option really easy, just saying share, and they go off on that. So now let's talk about the back end. So what you as a realtor, and after this, we'll go into the website and we'll really just go through a whole run through of what the website really looks like. Um, so for the back end, like I've been saying over and over in this video, lead generation, this really creates leads for you. You can log in with Facebook or Google. So what I mean by that is that KB Core is so smart that they have created multiple ways for clients to come in. So again, how do they create this lead generation? It's this forced registration after one view. So what that means is when they come into the website and they start looking at properties, KB Core will tell them after they viewed one property saying, hey, you wanna keep on looking at properties, give us your contact information. And this is where it gets interesting. So normally websites ask for phone numbers and emails and clients are sometimes a little bit iffy on giving that information. So what KB Core has done is that not only do they only offer that you have to give us your email and phone to log in, they also give, give them the option to log in with Facebook or Google, making it super easy on the client to log in and give us some information. And also, they also give us the phone number as the password, which is something really smart KB Core has created. So whether indirectly, we're asking them for their phone number and that's how we're getting it. So that's something that is another way that lead generation can be created indirectly through that. Rather than having us directly ask them, hey, give us your phone number and your email, KB Core asks them, put your email as your username and use your phone number as your password. And you view customers' movement. I'm going to show you how you do that. But as clients are going through and viewing properties, liking properties, saving properties, you will automatically, when you get into your KB Core and look at your dashboard, you will automatically see all the clients that are liking and viewing properties. And that's where you go in and say, hey, I saw you saw, um, I saw you looked at this property. Would you like more information? Send a text message. Or you can put a campaign, which we'll get to later, and have that automatically run through every time someone opens up your website. Super interesting and really awesome to create lead generation um, automatically, honestly. All right, so before we get into the customized website recommendations, first let's just check out the website. So I'm gonna stop sharing this presentation and let's open up my KB Core and let's open up the website. So how do you get to your website? So when you open up KB Core, the first thing you're gonna see is dashboard. You're gonna go to your name and right here where you see this little world, you're gonna see your name dot your brokerage, 
click that and that will lead you directly to your website. Again, as you can see, your website URL is really just your name.yourbrokerage.com. Super simple and really easy. So here we are in my website. And the first thing you're going to see is that it looks very familiar. It looks like the MLS, doesn't it? And that's exactly how it's supposed to be. So here, clients can come in into your website and they can put in a bunch of different cities, areas, zip codes. They can choose between single family, condos, multifamily, commercial, et cetera. Just make sure you tell them if you only are interested in single family, make sure to uncheck these boxes so they can actually see only those homes. The beds, two or more, the baths, two or more, et cetera, min, minimum price, maximum price, and they click search. So this is another easy way for clients to look at properties themselves. And again, once they look at a property, you will be notified as their agent. And since this is your website, once what are they looking at? What kind of um, properties are they interested in, et cetera? You also see more options here. So the, here, when they click on more options, it'll be taken by the website to a whole different place of um, how to look at different homes. So let's go back to the, to the main page. So another thing that you will see is here, we put a tagline. I can show you guys how to customize that, but that is my tagline. And here we have three different links. So we have one where thinking of selling and if they go, the clients go in there, they'll get their home value. So let me just show you how that looks. So this will find your home value instantly and they can put in their address and they get the estimate. That's one thing clients can do. Another thing they can do is looking to purchase. They can start their search. And then when they go there, they can start looking at homes that way as well. All homes here where the MLS covers. And they can get pre-approved. So if you have a preferred lender, you can put your preferred lender's link here and you can start the application and clients can directly go and start getting that pre-approval letter already directly from your website. You can have a blog. I can show you guys how to do that as well. And here I put uh, the listings in Kissimmee, in Orlando, in Miami as well. And this is the about section I was telling you about. So as you would imagine, you saw my about section. It's literally like two sentences. And if I had put a paragraph, it might be a little bit too long and a little bit doesn't really go with the website. I at least like to keep it short and sweet. So I just wanted to show you guys, just know that it'll be about your name. So create something that more personalized, not so much about the brokerage that you work for, just so that they can learn a little bit about you. Here are the latest blog posts that I have posted. And here are the areas we cover. And then here you have your brokerage and where they are located and your phone number. So that's the main page of the website. Another here, if they go to search, they'll look at homes, instant home value. As I saw, that's the same link you'll see here. Well, they'll get an instant home value and they can get more information on me. Now I wanna show you a little bit how it's gonna look if let's just say I'm a client and I'm looking at Homes in Kissimmee, just so you can be a little bit more familiarized with that. So let me just pick anything just for purposes of seeing, let me put it a little bit more, just for purposes of seeing how it will look. So once we click search, So this is what the clients will see. So again, we see, we're seeing Kissimmee. We'll be told, okay, we have 43 results in Kissimmee for the different types of homes. I didn't click, um, I didn't click the condos or much of family away. So if I did, I obviously will see less. And here are the homes that come up. So as you can see, when they hover over one of these images, they'll have the option to view details, similar properties, or save it. And they'll be given information about the price, the type, the size, and everything. So let's just say I'm viewing details. As a client, I will see all the images, right? I'll see the address, I'll see the MLS ID number, I'll be given information about this, the letter of realty, Lake Nona, the price history, I'll be given information. So as you can see, this information is much more reliable, and which is why we offer our clients access to our personal website. We'll be given interior features, exterior features, and the properties in average. So they'll be given a comparison and they will also be given a map and even Google maps here so they can check out how it looks in the community.
Another thing that clients will see is when they go here, your agent. So you're always having personal branding when you're using your website. And this is what I was talking about, where you can save it. You can chat with us now. So they'll be given direct access to speak with you. You can ask an agent a question. You can request a showing, property email alerts. You can print the flyer, the social media sharing for the millennials, the virtual tour, and the video. So many things to do and many things that they can do. And again, once they start looking at more than one property, the system will ask them to log in. So they'll be given a username and a password to log in. And once they're already in there, they'll start having all of that information. And there's also the contact me now, and here's my phone number, and here are our social media links. All righty. And on that note, that concludes the video for today. Thank you for watching. Just a recap, what we learned in today was how to create our profile and an overview of the KB Core website from the front end and the back end. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to keep up to date on the KB Core lessons we upload. Also, please follow us on Instagram at Team The Invicta. We would love to have your support. My name is Ashley Jimenez, team leader of the Invicta team. We are your expert allies. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.